Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechFuse Nope. And today we are doing a Windows tutorial, specifically for the Surface Pro Pen. And this is going to show you how to add more functionality to your Surface Pro Pen. This is going to be a quick video, but one thing I want to mention is this involves a newest update that came out for the application on the Surface Book and the Surface Pro 4. But even though this is meant for the newer devices, you might want to check with the older devices if you got them and see if you can do it there. I'm, I'm not 100% sure if you can do it on those because I only have access to the Surface Book. So now let's jump on in. What you need to do is go to the Windows Store and look for the Surface application and update that. Given that you can't update it or you don't see an update for it, the quickest and best solution is is go to the start menu and type in WS reset without a space right click on this and and make sure you're on the administrator account right click on that and run as administrator and what that will do is that basically clears out the memory on the one store and it'll grab any new information it'll look for new information it'll see Okay, there is an update and it'll let you know. So given that um, you did that and, and everything's good, open up the application. What you're looking for is the following version or higher. Now, once you've done that, you need to go to the pin and you will be presented with a new area. And you need to make sure your things paired before you do that but um, as far as this goes before basically it was only this upper section so let me pair the pin real quick and I'll be right back and once you have it paired what you can do is you can tell it what to do on a single double or press and hold so what you're looking for is you can actually disable some of the functionality or you can tell it to launch a particular store application or a desktop application. If you tell it to launch a store application, you will be presented with this, which lets you load any of them. You are, if you tell it to launch a desktop application, you need to find the location of the application. If you don't know how to do this, it's, it's actually pretty simple. So let's use the recorder as an example. What you want to do is open it up if possible. Right click on it. Right click on the um, thing. Go to properties. And uh, if, if you go to start in, this gives you the file location. And you'll just search for that within the browse. And you just try to find the exe file that you're looking for. So that's a quick an easy way to do it um, so so you can do that but anyways uh, as far as that goes if you got any questions or anything then feel free to let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible if you want to leave any more information into this feel free to do so also if you like this then uh, please help us grow by going to our patreon campaign and doing it there also please feel free to leave a like subscribe and share Leave any questions and I'll try to get back to as quickly as possible and hope you have a great day.